Now, government white paper on Ayawasu West Wagon Commission report rejects portions of the recommendation, saying it failed to establish a key item in the terms of reference. This afternoon, we revisit the scene of the chaos to interact with those who witnessed it, including some mentioned in the report as deserving compensation. My colleague, Maxwell Agbaba, is at the scene and joins me on the phone. Hello, Maxwell. Maxwell, you've been there on the ground, and this is a very familiar a space for you. What what can you report? Well, um, we have been speaking to the uh, people, some of the residents um, in the community, and especially with the um, woman whose shop was um, hit by some of the uh, bullets that were fired um, on that fateful day. Um, when we spoke to her, um, she said that she is yet to receive the news about a compensation, although she has received. Um, some calls from um, people um, about this particular um, incident. She said um, she was caught at the time, and her information, uh, information, her, her information, information about her was actually uh, taken. She readily provided um, that information. Members of the commission also visited uh, her shop to come and see uh, some of the things that, I mean, uh, to come and see the parts of the shop which got, you know, um, damaged uh, during that um, shootout. Um, she said. She is um, excited um, that they're going to be um, compensated, and um, she's, she's grateful to the government. While well, some of the residents we've been speaking to are saying um, that they think that the uh, government white paper um, actually attempts to uh, shield persons they describe as uh, President Akufuado's own people. And one man that I spoke to, one resident that I spoke to said, um, he was um, around when the incident um, actually took place, when the incident, you know, um, happened. And he has, you know, um, I mean, he, he still has pictures uh, uh, of what happened, you know, uh, in his mind. And he thinks that mm. um, the members of the committee, you know, are seasoned uh, persons in law, and um, they were able to do a good job. But he thinks that um, the um, some, some of the recommendations that were rejected um, in the Gazan White Paper, you know, um, is quite unfortunate. And he thinks um, that it's an attempt by the government to shield um, some of the people who were um, involved. In that, he mentioned um, a specific instance where um, the uh, gentleman who is alleged to have slapped um, the member of parliament, Domingo Pram, um, we told that the prosecution cannot happen. He made, he made specific reference to that. Uh, uh, um, that recommendation that was rejected that the gentleman should be prosecuted and said that. I mean, uh, Ma Maxwell, uh, let, let me. So it, it presupposes what we are saying that they know about this report. I mean, um, are these people who live in the neighborhood or people who were actually present um, when this happened? Uh, to what extent do they have they followed the report? Even is it what they hear from the uh, media or were they uh, 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 sort of interested to pursue exactly what was contained in that report? Well, many of them that I spoke to um, had it in the media. Um, okay. They had it on radio. Uh, but this specific gentleman that I'm talking about, uh, he made the attempt to actually read and understand mm. uh, the content of the uh, government white paper. And that's why he was able to uh, specifically point to some of the issues that was mentioned, you know, um, in the uh, in the white paper. Some of the residents that I spoke to really did not care much about. I mean, <laughs> they didn't know what the government white paper was all about, and they didn't mm. also follow the ISO West uh, work on um, commission and um, season. So uh, all they had to do was to follow the commentary, you know, on on radio. Um, but this gentleman that I'm talking about, who is raising concerns um, about um, how some of the people were. Um, specifically mentioned to have done wrong and were recommended to be, you know, prosecuted um, by the commission. Uh, now we that they cannot be prosecuted uh, as a government white paper. He said that uh, he thinks that government is trying to chill you know, these people. Well, Maxwell, they see the lady whose um, saloon, for example, uh, was bullet uh, hole ridden at the end of the day. Uh, has also been interacting with you and she says she's excited about the idea of compensation but does she know what she has to even do to to access that compensation if it's going to be given at all or is it just that she's had it in the news and she thinks it's a, it's a nice idea 
Well, she says um, she had it in the news, and because some people had called her to get uh, some of her personal details, and that's how come um, mm -hmm. she, I mean, she got to know. But for that, she wouldn't have been in the know. And um, she's saying um, that they are happy. She particularly, she's excited, and um, that she's going to get right. um, the money um, to do other things and then to fix, you know, um, other things. Well, when they actually are the bullet holes. Um, we're still visible on the container and mm. nothing has been done to fix Meaning she hasn't um, repaired the container? No, the container has not been repaired. We saw two bullet holes uh, full of the container. And is she working? This is a salary for her. This is a, her livelihood, her business. It, was she working? Yes. Um, she, she was going about it normal duty. Did, does she have any uh, uh, plans of, of um, fixing the, the container or is it just... Uh, you know, it doesn't really bother her much. Well, when I spoke to her, uh, she was telling me uh, that it wasn't an extensive damage that was, that was caused, um, you know, to the uh, container. And that's why she has not bothered much, you know, uh, to fix it. Um, she says if, if the damage had been extensive, uh, she would have um, gone a step ahead, you know, to find money um, to repair. But because the damage is extensive, um, she thinks she can, you know, live... Mm. In it, she can do business in it without necessarily repairing. So you've been speaking to this one of these people there on the ground who has taken the time to look at um, the report and what it says. Uh, we can hear from that gentleman now. But what I realize is that the president was not really happy with what came out. Uh, I had this understanding that the president wanted things to work to their favor. Mm. But, you know, the commission was very, very balanced and biased, and they did a very thorough investigation. And the result that came out was wonderful. Mm. So when I, was, I, I heard the president trying to turn down, their white paper trying to turn down some of the recommendations that they brought out, I begin to ask myself question, why are we going this far? Because, you know, there are some things when you do, it go a long way to affect the foundation of the country. Um, if you look at the, uh, the white paper, what, the recommendation that came out, that though that slap, uh, how they call some George. Sam George the man should be called punish. But the white paper came out trying to protect the person rather. At the long run, it will look as if uh, anytime someone does something wrong unto you, you can take law into your hand and, and punish the person. I don't think this should be the best. Uh -huh. If someone go contrary, to the way you want you wanted things to go, the best thing you should do is to report the person to what? To the law authority or even arrest the person. But instantly the guy slapped uh, hot, some judge, which is wrong. So I was thinking that the president should rather support the hot in a short commission, their recommendation, so that they will have the person punished. So that the, I mean going on forward, everyone will take a lesson from it. But President supporting what happened alone is fearful. And you know, we are getting to election year. And this particular season, the President should be very careful the way he handles things. Because me looking at the thing, I don't think the white paper speak very well of the commendation that came out. The President can do better than that. He thinks the president can do better than that. So, Maxwell, these are random people in the neighborhood. Tell us about the, na the, the atmosphere generally in, in this place. Uh, has anything changed? I mean, you, be, you were there when it started, when it happened, and you were yeah. there a couple of times as well. Any changes you, you spotted? Oh, well, not, not, not much has changed. Um, the residents there are still going about um, their normal duties. Uh, uh, those who met when uh, the incident happened, uh, 24 hours after the incident happened, are still there and they're going about uh, the, 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 their normal duties. Um, 
uh, one of the gentlemen that we spoke to on the day that I incident, uh, have a bit of after the incident, like, who actually showed us videos, um, who, who actually gave us videos of how all the shooting um, happened. We met with him, we spoke to him, and he also um, told us that he's quite um, excited that a commission was established um, to look into uh, this uh, particular you know, um, case. And um, he said that he was happy when specific reference was made about the video that he captured. And he thinks that the video actually um, helped the commissioners um, to get a sense or a perfect understanding of um, exactly what happened. I mean, you remember um, in that particular video, we had quite a number of gunshots, more than um, 30 gunshots. Mm -hmm. uh, the gentleman who captured that video, uh, we spoke to him, and he said he's quite happy um, that he was able, in one way or the other, indirectly, you know, uh, he was able to contribute to the work of uh, commission. Right, Maxwell, thank you very much uh, for that update. Maxwell Agbaba there, our man on the ground. Well, Maxwell, you're also following up on some other victims, and so we'll get to you uh, for those details subsequently. Maxwell Agbaba there from the Ayawasa West World on Spot of Confusion in January this year. A Speaker of Parliament, Professor Aaron Michael Quay, says the Justice Short Commission report and government white paper must be analyzed critically. Government's white paper, as you know, issued has so far uh, generated controversy and misconcerns that, that key recommendations have been rejected. Professor Okoye has been commenting on this development on the sidelines of a forum by the Peace Council to mark International Peace Day at the University of Ghana. He believes a careful interrogation of the findings of the report will go a long way to minimize instances of electoral-related violence. Conniving with people to steal a ballot in any form whatsoever should attract very, very heavy sentences. Taking away a ballot box, is it stealing under the normal circumstances or because it affects election, the will of the people, it might be treated separately? In fact, sometimes we get the impression that certain things are already in, the, in some law or the other. But you see, when something touches and affects the people in a very peculiar way, and all the trickery involved in an election, whereby people say that, oh, what time we are where we have in Ausu, we must make sure that it does not happen again. These are some of the things that you will find in the Kenya Electoral Offenses Act after their civil war. And we must copy it to strengthen the electoral system. Still on electoral violence, are you satisfied with how the Ayawa by election issue has been resolved so far? Oh, it's not a matter of anybody being satisfied with anything. Um, a committee has brought a report, and it's very, very important to analyze it critically. I mean, like right thinking people, and then coming to our conclusions. And mind you, the vigilante law too has been passed as a result. I believe it will go a long way to help, well, if not solve, alleviate the problem. There are some who are criticizing it. For instance, the, a member of your house was assaulted. Uh, government says it doesn't think that that individual who assaulted Honorable Sam George should be prosecuted, for instance. Oh, those are all comments. And of course, comment is free. But facts should not be free. What are your own comments here on that? Oh, one? no, I wouldn't. Not, you know, in my position, I wouldn't make comments in that manner. But you think that at least we have a blueprint that should end such violence oh, oh, once oh, and for all? I wouldn't say that. A blueprint, I, I, I don't jump to conclusions. A blueprint that should end, no. Let us continue to interrogate and examine the law and improve it. Mm -hmm. When we see pitfalls, let's be bold enough to criticize. But let us apply what we have and trust that it will help in the process.